We are talking about a very cold night ahead of us. In fact, we're 20 degrees cooler than where we were last night across parts of the Triad and very cold still in the mountains as we dip into the 30s right now for you there. We are taking a look at some frost concerns as well. We've got temperatures down to 38 degrees in Galax. We're expecting another 10 degree temperature drop at least there. And we've got temperatures right now at 45 degrees in Martinsville. We've got some chilly air after a day where we actually made it up to 68 degrees, just a degree over our actual average high of 67. Not bad for you, but right now it is cooling and we've got some winds coming down. And with that, that good radiational cooling develops and we expect to see the winds relax and patchy frost set up tomorrow morning. So even in parts of the tribe where you're wind protected and those winds drop down, your temperatures could drop too, and we get the frosty conditions going. But frost advisories are up for folks uh, from Davie County as we get you back west into the foothills. And so we see temperatures early morning down to 29 in the foothills or mountains rather foothills 34 39 in the triad and we continue to look at beautiful stargazing evenings out there you'll be able to see mars the next couple of nights and of course the beautiful full blue moon which has not happened on halloween in so many years about 76 years to be exact and so we're looking at very cool conditions to get you going tomorrow morning and for your halloween evening so be ready to layer up tomorrow your temperatures in the morning are chilly we do have a breeze out there in the triad a little bit breezier than folks to the west so this puts us in kind of a brisk afternoon. Now, the foothills, your temperatures there are colder to start at 34 as your winds should calm down even sooner and high temperatures near 54. You see the natural trend to take temperatures from those chilly morning lows in the upper 20s and low 30s for the mountains all the way to only 47 degrees. This is a much cooler afternoon for us. And so settling in just as we are about to begin the first week of November, yeah, your October 31st, your Halloween is a chilly one. Take a look at your estimated rainfall out there. Your rainfall totals are anywhere from uh, a tenth to a quarter of an inch from rainfall that we expect to come on Sunday. But over the last few days, we've had a good heavy downpours creating those flooding conditions along the Yakin County, uh, Yakin River rather, as we had some heavy downpours in Yakin County too. But really the foothills, the zones of Wilkes County, Surrey County, you had anywhere from two to three inches in those sections and the reservoirs just filling up and filling up along the Yakin College River area. And so that's in Western Davidson County, stretched out through Davie County. We do have that going into moderate flooding through tomorrow. It drops back below into the minor category by early tomorrow morning and then later in the afternoon near normal. All right, tried rainfall. So far, we're above two inches for the month so far. And of course, we have done really well for the year, but we've got more on the way. We've got shower chances that are going to build for you as we head into the afternoon, early morning hours on your Sunday. Then the afternoon, maybe a few sprinkles, but it is thanks to a wave that'll roll in ahead of a front. And that front will also produce some scattered showers later in the afternoon, potentially. In between, you may even warm into the low 60s. So a little brief warm up as we see that change in wind direction on the west southwest. And then, yeah, a little passing snow flurry action, maybe some wind snow possible in the mountains, although it's unlikely that temperatures will be cold enough to support anything on the ground. Something to watch for as we track the timing of the next system going into your Sunday. You're looking at the rainfall totals anywhere from about a tenth to about three tenths of an inch. And we're also watching the tropics. You can see the tropics right now through uh, you know, the next couple of days looking at the next name system. So we're done with Zeta. Next on the list, of course, we could you go through this Greek alphabet pretty quickly. You're looking at the sunset for you tomorrow evening around 525. And then we're also looking at falling back. Your sunrise and sunset is actually going to happen about an hour earlier as we set our clocks back by one hour. And it is also a great time of the year to check your smoke detector batteries. If you need to change them, please do or install a carbon monoxide detector. And if you're using any alternate heat sources tonight, a lot, a lot of people are without power. Keep those generators outside. And also, if you're using natural gas or even the ventless fireplaces can be dangerous too. make sure you're checking that and make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector in the house. So helpful reminders as we talk about a very cold weekend ahead. Your Halloween looks cool and brisk. And then we get you into the warmer flow of things by the end of next week as we finish the first week of November. But it is looking dry for Election Day, although on the cooler side.